Hey everyone, Jeff here with Creative IT Resources. And some people have asked why certain items are missing from the central administration. I wanted to uh, bring those up and show you uh, why that is and do a comparison between what would be missing and what is not missing based off this scenario. Let's open up the central administration, the preferred method by start all programs, SharePoint products, SharePoint central administration. Click yes to run as administrator. Log in with SP admin, which is my user account specified to uh, use with central administration. Now let's open up Internet Explorer and bring up the site. Log in as SP admin again. And doing a side-by-side -side comparison, we see right away uh, managed services on the server is not available, perform a backup, restore uh, from a backup are not available. If we click on the configuration wizard on both sides, we'll notice that launch farm configuration wizard is available from the preferred method compared to just open up Internet Explorer. The other thing we'll show you is if you open up just an Internet Explorer and you click Configure Service Accounts, you receive the error, sorry, this site hasn't been shared with you. So to kind of prove our point, let me open up Internet Explorer, right-click, Run as Administrator, open up the site again, and we do see that uh, the features are now available. So managed services on the server are perform a backup, restore backup. You can configure service accounts. Also the configuration wizard is now available. So essentially what's happening is you have to run in and explore as uh, administrator. To take this a step further, let me log in as an, into another workstation. Here's another workstation on the same virtual network, and I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. Uh, it's a normal method. Log in as SP Admin. These features are available, manage services on the server, perform backup, restore backup. Now I did not log in as administrator. Let's open up Internet Explorer as administrator. Log in as SP admin again. And again, the services are available. So what we've discovered here is that running Internet Explorer remotely does not require running as administrator. However, if you are on the server itself that is hosting SharePoint or hosting central administration, you want to run Internet Explorer as administrator, or you want to start it from the uh, preferred method using the start uh, programs. That's it. I hope that clarifies things for you and kind of proves the point and shows you what, what things to expect that might be missing. Thanks a bunch, everyone. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe down below. Take care. Bye.